Hello, Pastor Charlie here. Um, Sunday night. <laughs> I just want to open up with a word of prayer, Lord, Lord. I ask that you would just guide this discussion, Father. Just anoint these words, Lord. Guide my words. Keep me silent when I don't need to say something. And, uh, Father, we give you the glory and the honor and the praise, and we just worship you today in spirit and in truth. And I say these things in Jesus' name. So Friday we had a, a pretty dark day where my daughter... Um, and her family were thrown in jail and um, the kids were dispersed and uh, uh, we really were caught blindsided by this and we really didn't know what the issue was and to be honest with you we really really don't know a lot of the details of what's going on it just so happened it happened late on a Friday and um, you know how that goes they stuck they spent all weekend in jail so um, I sent out a request for prayer and uh, I figured a couple hundred people would pray and I'd ask the church and we got together Saturday night and prayed, and I can tell you that over 5,000 people um, responded that they were praying for this for Millie and for Chuck and for Gavin. So I want to thank you guys for that because this is really what we're battling against. The church needs to wake up, and we need to be a praying church, a praying body, especially in this time because we're entering into a very dark time. You know, we're right now in the battle, and it's not a battle so much as Democrats against Republicans. It's a battle battle against the new world order and a free America and um, in order for the Antichrist to come in power he's going to need to take down the United States because with a strong United States we can never have a one world government so that's kind of what's at play here is taking down and the devil has been fighting really hard this year with COVID-19 dispersing the church the church has been broken up they're not allowed to gather together in California they can't even worship they can't even sing and they've broken them apart um, that's that, that is a strategic device for the devil to separate the church because a unified church that is alive and praying is a strong church and is is the restrainer you know the bible tells us that the antichrist can't fully come into power until the restrainer is is removed from this planet who is the restrainer the restrainer is the holy spirit and where is the holy spirit residing the holy spirit resides inside the believer so we we have the holy spirit within us and when we're together in a body praying we're able to to restrain the evil from this world so we can see that this pandemic and all these riots and all this other stuff behind it is all designed to break the church up to scatter the church but what happens when you scatter the church or you scatter believers or you put believers by themselves in an empty room with all they have is themselves and Jesus well you set them on fire you set the church on fire and that's what we're at right now church we need a church on fire we need to come against these things. Um, Jesus gave us the authority. He gave us the keys. And he, he commissioned us to do that, to come against these things. And he asked us, he said, whatever we bind on earth will be, will be bound on heaven. Or whatever we bind in heaven will be bound on earth. And whatever we bind, whatever we loose in, um, or in heaven will be loose on earth. So what he's saying is that we have the ability to bind these things and to loosen these things. And what we want to do now is just just keep continue as a church to pray against this evil that is coming over this nation. And we want to have righteousness reign again. We want to have good reign again. It seems right now our country is just taken over by bad, by evil by disruption the riots are, you know these these are not peaceful riots they're tearing up our, 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 our communities they're setting fire this I mean the, the the stores and all this stuff and they're just it's it's just a total mess right now but we need Jesus that's what we need we need Jesus so I just wanted to make a quick little video and just say thank you guys for your prayers. Continue to pray for me and my family as we go, as we continue into battle. As we go through this next three months here, I would encourage you guys to have a storage, a food storage and, and some water stored and have some money stored and have some things set aside so that you don't have to re uh, just really rely on anything because it's going to get a lot worse before it gets a lot better. But I'm going to say this, we're standing 
standing right at the edge. We're standing right at the edge of our next revival. We're looking for that. We're going to have this third and final revival that's going to sweep over this country. And we're going to see many, many people and many, many hearts changed for the Lord. And we're going to have a revival in this country. And we're going to have righteousness reign again. And good that is going to be good. And bad is going to be called bad once again. So I just want to encourage you guys to stay the course and to pray. To stay on your knees and to fight the spiritual fight. Take away the power of these evil men by taking it to the Lord in prayer. And I say these things in Jesus' name and keep praying for us. Thank you. Amen.